PC, Laz back again, and I got another vinyl update to do here. Um, I couldn't believe when I was getting ready to shoot this video and I did the title screen and I typed in November 12th, 2021. I couldn't believe it. Where'd the year go, man? You know, I mean, November, it was just November 1st, like yesterday, and now it's the 12th. You know, all you youngins out there, let me tell you something. The older you get, the faster it goes, okay? I'm sure my fellow 50-plusers uh, out there can uh, attest to that one. Anyway, pretty soon, unbelievable, it's going to be Black Friday, Record Store Day. It's going to be Christmas in the blink of an eye. Um, but let me show you uh, this this latest uh, stack of goodies that have come into the, the Laz Lair here. Um, first, I got a couple of Venoms here that came into the local shop used, and there's somebody in the area that has been buying uh, new reissue metal or whatnot. I don't know if they're just taking it home and recording it and then trading it back in because the stuff is like still brand new. And so if you catch it, you can get it, you know, like five to ten bucks off the brand new shrink wrapped edition, yet they're still like in mint condition. So. Um, I grabbed these two. Uh, this is from The Very Depths by Venom. And this is on red vinyl, 2LP. So it gave this one spin. It's the first time I've heard this. Um, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it's gonna take a few more. This is classic. Um, this is Venom Live. Ein Klein, jeez. Uh, Nash, Nash Music, I believe is how, how that's pronounced. And this is the picture disc set, two LPs on picture disc. So I got those two. Uh, this came off of, I ordered this off of millions of records. And this is a two LP Dream Theater boot. And I haven't spun this yet, but uh, just to put this out there, if you guys are not aware and you're Dream Theater fans, I'm not the biggest Dream Theater fan. I like them. I'm not ravaged like a lot of their fandom is. But a 2LP bootleg Dream Theater set, they have this on the website for 10 bucks right now. So if you're quick and you're interested, go grab one um, while you can at that price. So 10 bucks 2LP set, Dream Theater. This is live at Summerfest Milwaukee. June 29th in 1993. So this is right at their prime, man. So, um, but I haven't spun it yet, so I can't justify the sound quality. I have no idea. It has not gone on the turntable yet. Or the whirly gig, as I like to call it. Um, next up, I finally got this one in. Uh, ordered this one from overseas. I cannot say enough about this band. This is Altar of Oblivion. I've been showing this a lot lately. <clears throat> uh, this is... Uh, Grand Gesture of Defiance, and I um, ordered this from an overseas seller. It's on Shadow Kingdom. It's on uh, a colored uh, splatter. Um, another killer release by this band. This is the second full length, I believe. Um, comes with a insert. Inner gatefold is just like handwritten lyrics. Um, the vinyl is beautiful. It's a really cool look, and it almost looks like a glow-in-the-dark color. I haven't checked if it actually glows in the dark. It might be, but it looks like it glows in the dark in the light. That's how I would describe it. Um, but, uh, killer album. Um, favorite track on this one so far? Uh, you can look this up on YouTube. Uh, the Graveyard of Broken Dreams. A really cool track. <clears throat> so again, I'm just I cannot say enough about this band. I'm totally hooked on these guys right now. Kind of like uh, I know Scott Waters can relate. He got hooked on um, Osric Tentacles. Um, I'm kind of going through the same thing with this band. So um, I've got one last vinyl piece to track down to have the full discography by those guys. Okay, next up, these finally came in. Um, Finally, so I had ordered two copies of this. This is the signed KK's Priest on silver vinyl. So both copies came in. Uh, one's up on the wall over there. Um, this is the second copy. I'm just leaving this one sealed. 
because uh, I ended up buying the uh, the red vinyl and the white vinyl copies of it. So to play it, I'll just play those. I'll just leave these sealed as they are, especially being signed. You know, one thing I've noticed is some of the signed copies are signed in silver. And then mine are signed in, it's like a copper color, copper or gold pen, um, which is kind of cool because I think it really goes with the cover color. Uh, not that big a deal. It's just something that I happen to notice flipping through photos of these. Um, and I also have a signed photo of KK up on my wall that's signed in silver. So it's nice to have the two signatures in two different colors. Kind of cool. Um, but anyway, those finally came in. So happy to get those. This album right here, um, I had posted a video to the Facebook um, Metalhead group, I think. And uh, the, the video for um, uh, Midnight Radio by this band right here, Crystal Eyes. And I fell in love with this track so much, I had to track down the vinyl. Uh, it's limited to 300 copies. This is number 167. This is black vinyl, gatefold sleeve. Um, this album is a killer. So these guys... Uh, they're kind of known more as like a uh, power metal band, I guess. But this album here, they do tracks that sound like Running Wild. Um, uh, this Midnight Radio track is a total like 80s throwback. Uh, you can catch the video on YouTube. Look it up. Crystal Eyes, Midnight Radio. Absolutely catchy chorus. It's total 80s. In fact, even in the video, they, uh, they kind of pay homage to the 80s to... Uh, um, uh, Steve Harris to uh, Rob Halford, um, Angus Young. Just watch it and you'll see where they're going with this. But this is really a killer record, man. So um, track this down if you can. I had to discogs it. There's the band there. And there's the inside. And like I said, it's on black vinyl. Um, but happy, happy to have it. Uh, it's one of those songs that came at me out of nowhere. I just happened to click on it. You know, not expecting much and end up falling in love with it. I think we've all been there. Um, finally got these in. These have been on the list for a long time. And I finally went ahead and grabbed them. The two Traveler albums. Everybody knows these. So I was happy to finally get these in. Killer band. Um, should be due for a new one here pretty soon, I think. Um, got this one in. Still on my Blitzkrieg and Satan kick. And this one came out, this is Early Rituals, 2LP on blue vinyl, gatefold copy. Uh, this is the early stuff. So happy, happy to get that one. <clears throat> um, this one, this is a great record. I don't know if many people know this album or not or this band, but um, this was a total blind buy for me and absolutely love it. Uh, this is limited to 100 copies. Um, and this is the name of the album is Motherless. The name of the band is Trial. And this is just killer metal right here. Um, awesome cover art. It's a gatefold copy. It's on a smoke swirl vinyl. Um, but look at that cover. Just killer. So awesome record. Um, there's some... Um, Musically, in the style of kind of like Merciful Fate, uh, you're not getting King Diamond vocals on here, but musically, um, there's the inside of the gatefold. Look at that. Just killer, man. So, Trial comes with a poster and an insert. The uh, Metal Blade Polyline Sleeve. And then there's the vinyl there. So it's like a smoke black swirl colored vinyl, translucent. Uh, killer record. Um, I think, if I remember right, I think I grabbed this one on um, Hell's Headbangers, and it was like 18 bucks, um, which is a killer deal, especially for a limited 100 copy record that's this good. Um, I'll do that all day long. So I'm not sure if it's still there. If you're interested, check it out. But if not, if you ever see it, highly recommend this record right here. So Motherless by Trial. <clears throat> okay, I also grabbed um, 
Hell's Head Bangers got in the Griffin reissues. So had to grab these just on premise alone. Black vinyl. These are on XYZ. I've liked everything I've picked up on XYZ. Uh, the sound is great. The quality of the packaging is great. It's, it's just all there. Um, the 2LP set, uh, Protectors of the Lair. I always want to say Enter the Lair. That's Protectors of the Lair. This is a gatefold 2LP set. I like how the backs of both of these, you know, so there's your fronts, but the backs actually are in the same style different photos so griffin man classic classic metal um and they were on you know they got their start on one of my favorite labels which is shrapnel so glad those came out <clears throat> and this one what a gem so for those that are new wave of british heavy metal fans um uh uh, Aaron Metal Theologian, uh, you'd be all over this too, man. Um, this is No Quarter, sound, uh, Songs in Circles, and this is this is a band, 1981. They cut a demo cassette tape, and that was it. Uh, they never got an album pressed. Um, it was strictly a demo. Um, this is that demo put to vinyl. Um, in fact, this sticker here, if you look at the sticker, the green sticker that is what the cassette insert looked like so that sticker is a copy of the cassette insert um, it was done in white and done in green and so for this they did the green love this cover art they gave to this record just cool totally captures the record too um, it's a five track demo no quarter songs and circles Get this now before you can't. Um, this is a classic new wave of British heavy metal demo that uh, belongs in every collection. Oh, and it's on green vinyl. I'll go ahead and show that. Uh, the level or the label is uh, the Devil's Mark Studio, Unsilent Tunes, <clears throat> and you do get. Actually, show this. You do get an insert. You get an extra sticker. Of that cassette insert which I think is cool uh, you get a postcard in here um, but that extra sticker so you know I actually just transferred mine onto here that came on the vinyl itself but <laughs> I've never seen this before they give you an extra hype sticker in with the record um, and here's the green it's the dark transparent green black labels I love just black and white labels like that, where the label is black and the text is white. Kind of an old, old English, close to old English style font. Very simple. <clears throat> but yeah, this is one every metal fan, get this while you can. Um, I was stoked when I found out this was made. So, uh, And this, I believe, was Hell's Headbangers also, I'm pretty sure. So grab that one okay next up pounder this is on a blue and white um, swirl vinyl killer stuff um, just you know fast straight up metal uh, there's a lot of double bass here um, Alejandro Corridor the bass player plays the jazz bass which I'm starting to see a lot more metal bands utilizing the jazz bass um, and his bass tone on this record is just killer, man. Uh, the production on this album is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Love it. Um, but this is uh, Uncivilized. This is just classic um, style metal, but the new wave of traditional heavy metal. Pounder. So fans of like Ambush, Stallion, um, all that stuff, that's right up there. This next one, this is a really cool record. This is definitely different, but it's very cool. This is Heavy Metal Adventure by Legendary. Look at that killer cover, man. And Heavy Metal Adventure. This is a three-piece band. And this is 
like stoner metal. I don't want to say like doom or or and it's it, you just got you got to kind of hear it. But I'll, this is what I'll tell you: uh, this band covers the Anvil of Crom. That's what they open the record with, and the Anvil of Crom is the basically the title track to Conan the Barbarian from the film. Opens the movie. Classic Basil Pedorius uh, soundtrack. And uh, they do a cover of that on here, and that's what opens this record. And so you can kind of get a taste for what's going on here. Um, but very, very, very drum and bass, thick, heavy in the production. Um, vocals are kind of very subdued. Just a very cool mood uh, metal record for sure. So, and short, four tracks, four tracks. So just enough to give you some flavor, and then it's done. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna, you know, this one here, it's not metal, but just hear me out. This is a split. This came off of Hell's Headbangers. This is a split. Uh, uh, Druiden Forest and Old Sorcery. And this is, what this is, is Dungeon Synth. And what I mean by that is this is all synth music. But it is done in a sword and sorcery dungeon style, I guess. Um, this is a straight up soundtrack to any Dungeons and Dragons game or sword and sorcery fantasy film. Um, you guys know how I love this stuff. This is just killer. So, um, any of my fellow D and D buddies out there, Chromey D, um, dude, get a copy of this. It's offered on Hell's Headbangers in different colors. Um, blue, red, green, I think, all that. I had to go with this one because for those that are in the know, are in the know, this is the color of the first edition Dungeons & Dragons player character sheet, so I had to get it in this color. Um, but this is killer, man. This is just awesome. Um, comes with... Comes with a poster of the cover, polyline sleeve, and then this one's on the orange. So if you're into that kind of stuff at all, um, they also offer it on CD, uh, but I had to get the vinyl, of course. Um, but this cover absolutely captures what you hear on this record. So, any sword and sorcery fans out there, any fantasy fans, you want that mood music, you want that soundtrack to your Dungeons and Dragons game while you play, uh, you're reading a fantasy novel, you want something playing in the background, this is it. So, and there's a lot of this kind of stuff out there. Um, it's interesting that it's now being called Dungeon Synth. Uh, I think it's perfect. Um, but this is the first time I've ever seen it on vinyl um, or seen this style of music put to vinyl outside of like the soundtrack to Conan the Barbarian or something like that. Um, so I couldn't grab this quick enough. Totally stoked on this. So I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Um, stay tuned. Got more coming. Um, it's almost time for the Santa hat. I can't believe that. Whew. Where do the years go? So till the next one, peace. Stay in the groove. Out of here.